first video tutorial on how to edit a PDF file using the pdfscape.com, we learned on how to add a text box like this one. We also learned how to add a text like this. We also learned how to add an image like my e-stamp here. And we learned how to uh, remove a part of the PDF file by doing a whiteout. We can also insert an ins a circle here or a box to highlight something in your PDF file. And lastly, we learned on how to use the freehand tool. So today, we will have the second part of, the le of our lesson on how to edit a PDF file using different tools. Now again, for us to be able to start, let, let us go to pdfscape.com. And then again, choose free online and then click that. And then click upload PDF to PDF Speed. And you will be asked to choose the file that you are go the the PDF file that you are going to edit. So click choose file. I'll be using the same file that I used during the first part of the tutorial. In this session, we will use the annotate tools. This one. I'm going to click on the annotate uh, button to show the annotation tools. So this is what will appear. So we have sticky note, highlight, insert, strike out, underline, rectangle, and oval. So these are the tools that are present in the annotate, annotate tools or the annotation tools. Let us say you would like to uh, put a comment on the work of your student in PDF file. So you have two options here. You can I, you can use sticky note or the insert insert button or insert tool. So let us try these two. So let us use the sticky note first. So I'm going to click on it and then on the PDF file click on the area or on the on the place where you would like the sticky note to be seen so let's say here okay. if you notice a dialog box appeared here this is where you are going to type in your message or your comment for example very good output congratulations it up so when the student click this icon this message or comment will appear on their PDF copy now if you click on this if you right click on this you have the option to delete the object to duplicate meaning you're going to duplicate the same content or the same message and there is a button here which says object properties if you click on that you can change the the author's name let's say i'll change this to my name picture alma and then i'm going to change the subject to comments if you check the the um lock button if you check this this is what will happen to the icon. So you can't move this anymore. Now let us see what will happen if we are not going to check that lock button. So I'm going to unlock this first. And then I'll go to the, uh, this one, the annotation properties. We are not going to lock this. Okay, then I'll click OK. So that means you can move the icon to the PDF file so maybe it's better if we lock this I'm going to 
go I'm going to object properties again I'm going to lock it okay now let us try to use this insert button so I already click on the insert button and then I'm going to click on this uh, space and then this icon will appear If you click on that, it's like the same with the sticky note. You're going to write your note. You're going to encode your note here. So, congratulations. For our job, well done. And then, same thing with the... With the sticky note, you have the delete object button, duplicate, or object properties. So just, just the same thing, you're going to fill in the author. And then, going to you may change the subject, let's say. I put the word note. Then I like, I'll lock it. Now let us try using the other buttons here in the annotate tools or the annotation tools. Let's try this button, the underline button. So if you click on this tool, you may just click on the word so that you can underline it. There. So you may highlight it. You may highlight the word which you would like to underline. Let us now try highlighting some words using and um, striking out using this highlight and strike out buttons. So I will just highlight. There. You may change the color of that. Let's say blue. Strike out. Um, the rectangle is the same with the uh, uh, what you have seen in the previous tut tutorial, wherein you're going to put words or pictures inside the back. The oval is for encircling. Uh, you may change, again, you may change the, the border width of this. You may change the color of the border. Let us now save this PDF file. Let us save the changes that we made on it. Again, you go to the left side of the screen. You click on the green button that is the save and download PDF. After downloading this, I'm going to open the downloaded file to check on the changes we made on it. I'm going to close this first. I'll go to downloads. Here. I will see here the icon of the sticky note and the icon of the insert um, text. So if I click on that, the message of my picture will appear. So it says here, very good output, congratulations, keep it up. I can reply to that by clicking the button here, reply. And then a space here will appear so that I can type in my, mes my message to my picture. If I click on this, there, the dialog box will open. Same thing, I can reply to that um, comment. And then you can also see here the other changes that, that we have made earlier. So the, the underlined um, words, the word that I box and I encircled, and the words that I highlighted. So that's it for today and watch out for my next tutorial on editing a PDF file using PDFscape.
Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye!